Hey, what is up guys? Airflying 2 caps here, in the video here today. I apologize for not making a video um, recently. I've been kind of sick and I've been trying to put out some videos that I had uh, kind of stored back up a little while ago. So I do apologize for that in advance, but I, I was sick. I had something wrong with my throat and it's not fully recovered yet, but it is going away. So uh, that's good. I actually haven't been able to talk very well at all uh, for the last couple of weeks. My phone's going off. Quit. Um, but yeah, so I'm pretty excited to bring you guys some more videos, some more um, games are going to be coming out soon, like NBA 2K15, which is already out, and all kinds of other stuff, so make sure to stay tuned for that. However, this video is about MLG stuff, and actually it's UMG, and it's going to be UMG Nashville, which comes up on uh, the Friday, on, on this Friday. Um, it looks like it's going to be a really good tournament. I've been to the place where they're holding it at, and um, it's like a hotel, and it's really, really nice. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to make it. I know I told you guys I was going to. Um, be able to go, but unfortunately, some stuff came up, and um, you know, it just, it just didn't work out. But we'll go maybe soon. We'll go to another event, possibly um, in the near future, and I'm really looking forward to that. Um, if you guys had all any time during this commentary, hear like a little screeching noise in the background. We just got a new dog, and it's really loud. And um, I'm literally doing my best to uh, to myself as closed in as possible, so no one. Or nothing can uh, to be heard besides myself. So, with that said, I do apologize for just mentioning and talking about all kinds of stuff. I, I really miss you guys, so I'm trying to tell you guys and inform you on everything that's happened. But, um, UMG Nashville, some teams are going to be coming up. Um, we know that recently EG has um, lost Karma for Dido, and they signed Dido. Karma is now on phase. Um, I made lots of videos about that on my MLG Talk with Air series. Make sure to check that out. It's pretty cool. And, yeah, so uh, that's how phase is looking right now. I could see phase. Um, honestly, in the top tier, um, I'm gonna give you guys maybe like the top teams. Obviously, like the regular teams are all gonna be there, so there's no worry about that. Um, teams like TK, Optic Gaming, Optic Nation, EG Phase, uh, Denial, um, you know, other other teams like that. So um, I'm gonna say like the top teams right now are Optic Gaming, Optic Nation. Um, let's see, uh, Envious, I forgot to mention Envious, and maybe TK, possibly Denial in front of TK. Um, personally, I feel like uh, TK does not play as well as they do on LAN, like they do online. Um, I feel like uh, TK is more of an online-based team, that's how, they're, that's, how they, uh, that's how they thrive, that's how good they are. I'm not saying TK is not a good team, but I feel like on land they just don't perform as well as they do um, in a regular situation. So I'm going to go with the top four teams, and I will go from there. I'm going to say Optic Gaming. Optic Gaming has been in a team house in California. I mentioned that about uh, to you guys too, which actually one of my predictions was was right. I said that they might make a small web series, and they have confirmed that Red Bull is making a small web series. While they were there, however, they're back in Chicago. Scum's still in California with his girlfriend, but yeah, that's what's going on right now. Um, so I can see Optic Gaming, they've come off a huge win streak, they've been in California, um, like I said, at the Red Bull Esports Studios, and they've done really well, and I know people might say that's the internet, but they're really learning how to be a team, and I feel like these team exercises for them are going to help them tremendously, and I could see other teams trying to maybe do the same thing, so I'm going to say Optic Gaming, absolutely top four team, we could also see like, teams like Optic Nation, um, who, who else is there? There's FaZe. I'm gonna say FaZe doesn't make it. I think FaZe is a good team. They do not have the chemistry though. Like in every single team, you have to have good chemistry. Karma is a great player, but he doesn't work well with the teams or the teammates that he has. Parasite's now on the team. Um, he was dropped on the bench, but now he's back, back on the regular team. They do not they do not blend well. That's why in the first place, uh, Karma left and went to Envious. So you know from from that one team that they had, I can't remember what it was. Uh, I can't remember. Anyway, but um, you know, th I just feel like Phase, whether they make it or not, I feel like even moving forward from this event, um, which is actually MLG Columbus, I believe, they're just not going to be a top tier team, and I feel like you know it's just not going to work out for for Phase for the rest of the season until Advanced Warfare, which I'm very excited about, comes out in a month. But however, I'm just kind of rambling on. I don't even know why. Next team, I'm going to say EG will make it. Um, I don't think EG is as, as nearly as good as they were, but um, I feel like Dido has played okay. I don't feel like they're like, maybe, I don't think they're going to win the tournament by any means, but I feel like they might get that fourth place, maybe even third place if they're really lucky. Um, I feel like, you know, EG is very clutch in situations, and I feel like just because one player might not be playing his best, and that might be, that might be Dido's best, but, uh, you know, Karma at his worst in a way. But I feel like, uh, you know, they can still pull it off. So I'm going to say EG and Optic Gaming are in, going to be in the Final Four. Along with them are going to be Envious. I feel like Envious is always a strong team. They have not slagged down in any by any means, really. And they're always up there. So I'm going to put Envious up there as well. And I'm going to go ahead and put up Denial. Denial is 
a team where they're based on hype, and I feel like coming off that last tournament, they're going to be on fire and ready to go. Now, um, Optic Nation, Optic Gaming, obviously very, very close. Um, Optic Nation ended up beating them in uh, Optic Gaming in the last event. I think it was like, I think it was 3-0 actually, but every single game was within like five points. Um, I think that the domination was within five points. The I think the S&D came down to like two rounds. Um, the Optic Nation won, or it might have been the last round. And um, Blitz came to like, I think a cap or two. So, um, you know, all close games. I feel like Optic Gaming is the better team. So I'm going to put Optic Gaming maybe if they verse each other ahead. We don't we don't have the bracket for right now. So I'm kind of going off my, my head for right now. So, um, <clears throat> you know, there's other good teams too. Don't get me wrong. But I feel like maybe TK isn't strong enough to make it. So I'm going to say TK maybe gets like fifth. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to go and say, I'm going to say FaZe gets like sixth place. I'm going to say TK gets fifth. I'm going to say EG gets fourth. I'm going to say Denial gets third. And we're going to have a matchup of the century. Optic Nation coming in second and Optic Gaming coming in first. I'm not an Optic fanboy, so don't say that. You know, if you want to, I guess you can. I do like Optic. However, I feel like Optic, after this crazy experience that they've had with each other, are just going to be so strong together. And I just, I can't see them losing, to be honest with you. Um, this is going to be one of the last events of um, this game of Call of Duty Ghost. So I'm pretty excited to see this event. I'm going to be watching it. I'm going to be, um, you know, hopefully uh, interacting and seeing uh, your guys' reactions. I'll be posting recaps and stuff like that every day. And, uh, yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Make sure to click all the links down below. I'm sorry for not being back, but I'm back now. And I can't wait to, to make some more videos. Thank you guys so much for watching once again. I will see you guys later.